Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is avalanche photodiode. So let's get started. One limitation of the regular PIN photodiode is the lack of internal gain. An incoming photon produces only one electron hole pair. Low light applications require detectors with internal gain to boost the signal above the noise floor of electronics and signal processors. Avalanche photodiodes, also called APDs, can be thought of as photodetectors that provide a built-in first stage of gain through avalanche multiplication. By applying a high reverse bias voltage, typically 100 to 200 volts in silicon, APDs show internal current gain effect around 100 due to impact ironization, also called avalanche effect. However, some silicon APDs employ alternative doping techniques compared to traditional APDs that allow greater voltage to be applied, greater than 1500 volt, before breakdown is reached, and hence a greater operating gain, greater than 1000. In general, the higher the reverse voltage, the higher the gain. Most commonly available APDs are made from silicon and use a so-called reach-through structure where light enters from inside of the silicon. The top picture shows the structure of a typical reach-through avalanche photodiode, also called RAPD. In this structure, a positively doped P region, denoted by P+, and a negatively doped N region, denoted by N+, sandwiching an area of intrinsic pi region, also called the depletion region. The depletion region is also called the absorption region because light is absorbed in this region and free electron hole pairs are generated here. Between N plus and the pi region is a narrow region or lightly doped P type material. The APD is reversely biased, which means anode contact on the N region and the cathode contact on the P region, as shown in the picture. The region between the PN junction is called the avalanche region. As shown in the right side picture, the electric field in the PN junction region is larger due to the fact that most of the applied reverse bias is dropped across its region. Now let's see how the avalanche process works. The light enters through the N plus and the P region and is absorbed in the pi region and generates a free electron hole pair. Under the electric field in the depletion region, the negatively charged electron drifts towards the anode, and the positively charged hole drifts towards the cathode. Since there is no avalanche region on the P+, so no avalanche process happens to the hole. On the other side, the electron enters the P region. It is accelerated by the high electric field, and then impacts other atoms, as shown in the lower left picture. In this high field region, the field accelerates the electrons to such a high speed that they create more whole electron pairs through collisions. This process is called impact ionization. These electrons and holes are then accelerated and in turn create even more free electron and holes, leading to the avalanche effect. So there you have it. Don't forget to visit fo4sale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.